It is uh, great to have you on the show. Great to talk to you. Thanks for taking some time out for us. Um, I, I want to start with uh, you guys have been back, uh, the late show, Stephen Colbert, the whole crew, uh, back in the studio, back with a live studio audience for a couple of weeks now. Tell me what that feels like. It feels great to see the people and to see everybody come together and be a part of something again. You know, we've been siloed and isolated in these different pods and, you know, it's been necessary for health and safety reasons, but it's been a joy to come back. All the late night shows, uh, you know, it was very sudden, the shutdown, unexpected. Uh, you guys had to figure out how to do a show that way. There was a learning curve because no one had done it, but you did it successfully. But tell me what it was like doing it that way and tell me about some of the difficulties doing it that way. Well, you know, it was difficult for me on many different levels because we didn't have a team to work with to do the lighting and the camera and the wardrobe. You have to basically do that yourself or, you know, as uh, Stephen had Evie, his wife, doing it with him. I, I had my, my girl and my family all becoming the crew. So we never, we, re we didn't rehearse that. That wasn't something that we planned for. On, and on top of that, you know, you're talking about in March, um, Soul, the film that we won the Oscar for, we, we were doing the score for that, finishing that in the living room as well, which, you know, it's not a recording studio. Um, so so the, the range of things that were going on and wrapping up, it was just perfect time and the pandemic and, and COVID said, you know what, I don't care about any of that. We're just going to make it happen. So, so having finished uh, the score for Soul, the music for Soul, congratulations, by the way, on uh, the Oscar, the Golden Globe, the BAFTA, all, all the awards, um, having to finish it up in your home and then seeing what this became a great movie, great score. Uh, um, that must have been very satisfying. Were you a little nervous about it, though, going into it? You know, I was nervous because the date of the movie got pushed back two or three times. Believe it or not, we were supposed to release on Juneteenth, um, and then that was pushed back, and we were pushed till Thanksgiving, and then we were pushed to early December, then we were pushed to Christmas Day and the film didn't get a theatrical release. We didn't know if it was gonna to touch the hearts of so many people because it was a really deep, risky film for Pixar, having the first black lead, you know, uh, jazz, the love letter to jazz, which is not a popular form of music really for young people. Um, and then you're talking about an existential movie, talking about questions of life and where the soul goes when we pass away. <laughs> where does the soul come from? What is the meaning of life? Who knew that all that would, break records and, and really come at the exact right time um, in the world. Boy, the movie is deep. Uh, there was so much more in our chat that we just couldn't fit today. So we're going to show you the second part of my interview with John tomorrow. In it, we talked about why he felt the need to join the protests for social justice, plus what message he hopes the world takes away from it, and why he's afraid of things going back to quote unquote normal. That will be tomorrow on Get Up DC at 630.